Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Engineer hash civil engineer. The topic today is diaphragm wall. It is the one which we got to see but ignore what it actually is. The diaphragm wall. Generally, we all know cellars, underground parkings, underground tunnels, etc., which are below the ground level. To to withstand the lateral pressure, diaphragm walls are constructed. It acts as a retaining wall. It is a continuous one, but its construction is not continuous. Hence, we got to know certain points here. Clamshell is used to excavate. Walls are built in panels. And bentonite slurry is used in this construction. Now, what is this bentonite slurry? It is a special type of clay when mixed with water forms an impervious cake which is like slurry with high viscosity. And then coming to the correction, the guide wall would be present. It is the two parallel concrete beams constructed along the side so as to guide the clamshell. When the excavating soil is soft, clamshell is used. And if a hard rock is present, gravity hammer is used. In order to keep the side soil from intervening the work or to keep it in a position, bentonite slurry is used. Reinforcement and concreting are the further processes. And coming to the construction process, during concreting, at both the ends of the trench, end tubes are placed. Withdrawing of the tubes and concreting, both are done at the same time. So, semicircular end sections are formed. Two alternate trenches are concreted and the middle part, there is no requirement of the tubes. And so, the joints are also thickly packed. Thank you.